Hi everyone, Africa is attractive. Everyone is inviting Africa. Everyone is happy to work with Africa. Uh, on 4th and uh, 5th of this June 2024, Africa and South Korea will hold a first joint summit uh, in Seoul. Uh, this will be the second summit this year. After that, held in January uh, in Rome, Italy uh, at Italy Africa Summit. So this June, Africa uh, will be in Seoul, uh, South Korea, where uh, there will be uh, Africa and South Korea Summit. Uh, the summit aim at fostering better structured bilateral cooperation and strengthening the partnership between the two sides. Uh, the summit will be joint uh, co-hosted by South Korea and Mauritius with the theme uh, the future we make together shared growth uh, sustainability and solidarity uh, I remember last year the president of Kenya president William Ruto who is the champion of African Union reform uh, said that Africans or African leaders have have agreed uh, not to be summoned in these summits instead a few representatives will be uh, representing the continent of Africa to discuss some issues concerning about our mother continent, Africa. If you forget, this is what President Iroto said. Listen to what he said. Russia-Africa summit. We have made a decision very respectfully as heads of state in Africa that any engagement with other partners must be an engagement of equals. And for it to be meaningful, for it to be meaningful, if we are going to meet the president of a country, we have organized ourselves that the Troika is going to represent Africa. The chair, the current chair, the past chair, the chair that is coming, and the heads of our uh, regional economic uh, commissions, about six, seven people. But what happens continuously when others want to engage with us, they don't want to deal with the Troika. They want to invite 50 heads of state. <laughs> so we go to a meeting, just explain to me what kind of outcome you expect where 50 heads of state are sitting. Everybody is asked to speak to one and a half minutes. You speak to one, for one and a half minutes. What kind of engagement are you going to get? You're going to get nothing. Right? The best that you get is photographs. <laughs> but President Ruto himself will be also attending this summit. And we have seen African leaders uh, traveling to uh, South Korea to attend this summit. We hope this will be a good summit, but uh, for how long Africans will be summoned, will be welcomed, will be invited. Uh, we want to see even Africa uh, inviting others. Not every now and then it's Africa who are invited, it's Africa who are summoned. So we want to see uh, the summit being held here in the continent of Africa. And I remember one day Professor Pierre Lumumba said that Africa is attractive. And that's why I started with this word. Africa is attractive. And listen to what Professor Lumumba said. It's attractive again. It is uh, so attractive that every two years the Japanese call our leaders to Japan. That is how attractive Africa is. They called them to Japan in order to discuss how Japan is going to work with Africa for the benefit of Africa. I do not believe it. It must be for the benefit of Japan. It is so attractive that the Chinese leaders call Africans to Beijing every year. The 54 of them, they call them to Beijing. And they say, this is how 
China is going to work for the benefit of Africa. I refuse to believe them. It must be that there is something that is being done for the benefit of Beijing. Because if I was Chinese, I would do that which is in my best interest, not in the best interest of Africans. It is so attractive that the Russians called our leaders only a few months ago in Sochi. And when they invite you, they invite you to the best places. It is so interesting. So that the Russians can work with Africa for the benefit of Africa. That is how attractive Africa is. It is so attractive that the Germans also invited our leaders to Berlin. It is so attractive that even the Arabs are inviting them to Doha. And it, that is how attractive it is. Have you ever heard the Latin Americans being invited? No. I did not hear. Have you ever heard the Arabs being invited? No. It is only Africans who are invited. That is how attractive Africa is. Is it a bad thing? Depending on what you think. We can use it to our own advantage or we can allow them to use it to their advantage. Yes, those are words from Professor Pierre Lumumba about how Africa is attractive to the rest of the world. I hope uh, this will be the opportunity for our readers to see how they can use this opportunity for the benefit of the people of Africa. How we can engage with Korea uh, in agriculture, in technology, so that the people of Africa can benefit from this uh, bilateral uh, relations uh, between Africa and Korea. But we hope. Um, what President Luto said, uh, it is needed, of course. Uh, we want to see few representatives who will be uh, representing Africa. Uh, of course, now all 54 to 55 countries have been invited to Korea. Uh, it means every country uh, is going to engage with Korea. But we wish uh, the people of Africa uh, to have what we call continental agreement with the rest of the world because some of our countries are small some of our countries are poor so we cannot uh, engage with china with america with europe and we see the way europe are doing uh, they are trying to engage with africa in a union uh, european union uh, even if you see Italy Africa Summit, but you see uh, their strategy is representing Europeans. So even with the people of Africa, uh, I think we need uh, to have one of our body that will represent us when we go out there to speak with one voice, uh, to represent Africa, as President Ruto has said. Um, you know, as I said, held that Africa is a continent with a lot of potentials. Africa has critical minerals that everyone uh, wishes to have these minerals, how they can access these minerals. Uh, we know that Korea is famous for uh, manufacturing uh, these trains, manufacturing uh, ships, uh, uh, mobile. All of us, we, we know that there are some a big brand in Korea, South Korea, that is manufacturing mobile uh, smartphones. So I think Korea is looking for resources in the continent of Africa. Even with the people of Africa, we can use this opportunity to look for technology and uh, other uh, science and uh, technological issues from Korea, how can we can engage with Korea in terms of technology. Uh, science, how we can learn from how Korea has succeeded to achieve what they have achieved. So uh, that is my opinion, but I hope you have a lot of things to share with us um, because I, 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 I'm sure you know more things about Africa, about Korea, and how Africa we can benefit from this 
uh, summits. Of course, Africa we have a lot of summits, but I wish to see uh, summits uh, being held here in the continent of Africa. But many of Africans, I hope they wish to see this summit being held here in the continent of Africa instead of summoning our leaders in different capitals in like now in Seoul uh, five months ago uh, we see in Rome we don't know what the next day, but we wish uh, the people of Africa to see this summit our summits being held here in our mother continent Africa those who want to engage with us may also uh, come to us uh, meet with us in uh, the Ababa and uh, or any capital in the continent of Africa. So kings and queens, please, uh, this is just an update uh, with uh, this summit that is being held in Seoul in South Korea. So kings and queens, have a nice time. Thank you.